Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? We are back again with another brand new video. In this video, we are going to continue the part 1 that we started a few days ago. If you haven't watched part 1, make sure you click the link up on top. And in this video, we are going to continue with part 2 solving some more pattern problems and the difficulty of those patterns are also increasing. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Uh, now, just one more note before starting. I um, also have a GitHub repository for this and a blog post for this video. So all of those who don't want to watch the video and skip ahead to, you know, having code on the blog or on the GitHub, you guys are welcome to check out the first link in the description and now let's get started. Half pyramid, let's go. As usual, given a value of n or r in range 1 to n plus 1 or j in range 1 to i included which is i plus 1 print str of j plus the space and then end with nothing and then a new line after every row good work let's try it out half pyramid i 1 10 um 10 works inverted half pyramid with number let's go as usual and in value and input um for i in range uh, this time we start from 1, go till 0, not included and minus 1. For j in range, we'll have 1, 2, i plus 1. We'll print the value of j, get it with a space, then end with nothing and a blank line every time for every row we complete. Let's try it out now. I can be inverted after a minute. Give it 10, works, 5, works, 1, works, 15, works. Let's go hollow half pyramid now. As usual, n as input for i in range 1, 2, n plus 1 to include n. Then we'll have if i equals n and for j in range str no sorry it's not str for chain range 1 to i we print str of j plus uh, of j plus space and equal to and otherwise for j in range 1 to i plus 1 so that we include i as well similarly as well and if j equals 1 or j equals the row in which we are right now i then we have to print the number print str of j plus space otherwise we just print uh, two spaces and and equal to Final print after each row and this should work. Ten one and um, let's try two, let's try five. Works. Let's go full pyramid now. So again as usual, n given to us in the input for i in range one to n plus one. Right, so if i equals equal to 1, we just print 1, otherwise... Now, the main thing to note in this problem is we have to print, like for 2, we have to print from 2 to 3 and then back to 2. For 3, we have to print 3, 4, 5, 4, 3. So, we split this into one increasing part and one decreasing part. So, for j in range i2, basically so if we are at uh, uh, 2 right now then it will go to 2 till 3 so right so i plus uh, if it's 3 i plus 2 right so i plus 2 means it's not included 4 will not be included so print str of j plus is and nothing and then uh, let's just check this out quickly so I think we we are missing a, a new line after each row. Let's check that. Faces are also missing now, but let's check. 
we have one two three three four okay so we have three four so for three it should be till so it's still two into i minus one so minus one in v if we have to include then two three three four five four five we have to three four five so the incre increasing part is built now and let's just quickly go for uh, the decreasing part now 2 into i minus 1 minus 2 rather i print same thing yeah. let's try it out now with 6 uh, one, so minus 1 yeah. 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, yeah, this is correct now, now only thing we need to figure out is the proper spacing. So, let's say initially spaces would be, now if we notice in the picture given, it's zero spaces if we have one only, then for two we'll have two spaces shifted. Uh, so I think initially we should have two into n spaces. And then every time I'm gonna, uh, two into n spaces, let's see. And every time I'm gonna, uh, reduce the value of spaces minus equal to two. I'll put this here. Let's try it out now. Uh, we're not printing spaces, so we need to do that as well. Print into spaces, comma, uh, and equal to. Let's try it out now. Three, six. Oh, we have one problem. It's still with one, it's printing some space. So, in order to fix that, I think. With one we need zero, with two we need two space, uh, with one we need zero, with two we need two spaces. So it's even numbers but with starting from zero, right? So we'll have to do something like n minus one. This should work, let's try it out. One, zero spaces, two perfect, three perfect, perfect, five, six, seven, works. Let's go hollow full pyramid now. So now by observation hollow full pyramid looks a lot similar to hollow half pyramid only thing is that it shifted like a full pyramid so i'm gonna do a little bit of cheating here and copy the code from hollow half pyramid and we just have to shift it right so we just have to apply the right amount of spaces let's go with n minus one and print these spaces and equal to blank printed the spaces and every time after printing we reduce the count by one let's try it out 5 print 3 what's the name of hollow full pyramid hollow full pyramid dot py1 works 2 works 3 4 works 5 works 6 works let's start with 10 let's try 10 works great Hollow inverted half pyramid. Let's go now. N equal to n ten foot as usual, and then for i in range one to n plus one to include n. Now if i equal to equal to one, I'm gonna print the entire row. So for j in range one to n plus one, uh, print str of j plus spaces and blank line right or else if this is the last row then we just print the number right you'll have print n and equal to blank else now we have to make sure we print the spaces in between and only print the so we print the current number which is i right and then we print some some number of spaces print some number of spaces we're gonna do that later oops comment to do and then we print the uh, last number right so the last number will be in this case every time n right and n equal to this here also i'll do n equal to this so that we you know uh, don't add a new line in between and then this let's try it out 5 and 3 hollow inverted half pyramid 3 5 this works only thing is that the spacing is not proper in these intermediate 2 5 3 5 4 5 right so let's do a little bit of calculation for um, n equal to 5 we require 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 
six, seven spaces. One equal to three will require one, two, three, four. Okay, five spaces. For for three here will require just one space, right? And here will require five space for five. So if you do a little bit of math carefully by observing this pattern, the answer will come around two into two into n minus two minus one. Two into n minus two minus one should be two into n minus four minus one. Two n minus five. So I'll say inner spaces is equal to two n minus five, right? And let's just do print this into inner spaces. Remove the to do now, and let's try it out. Um, five. So we did not. Re so every time we should reduce spaces as well, right? We need to reduce these spaces minus equal to one. All right, let's try it out. One, two, three. Uh, new spaces. Oops, inner spaces. Inner spaces, right? And it should be minus two every time. Let's try it out. Three, four, five, six, one. Yeah, and it works. Well, if you have made this far in the video and are enjoying yourself, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now let's continue. Palindromic form numbers. Let's conquer it. Uh, int input. Right for i in range one to n plus one. Right if i equals one, then we just print one and then n equal to blank string. Otherwise, we go for j in range one to uh, i plus one. Print str of j plus blank string and equal to blank string, no, no null string basically. For j in range, uh, not the decreasing pattern, so 0, minus 1, print str of j plus this and empty string. Right, and then print this. Let's try it out. Python 3 numbers. 3, 1, 10, 5, works. Now, uh, the palindrome form, let's go. So, n equal to int input. And you know what? By observation, it's very similar to the last problem we just saw numbers. So, I'm just gonna copy the code, paste it, and we just have to figure out the spaces, right? So, spaces again, as usual, you've solved this problem before, something like this. Um, 2 into n minus 1 print spaces and equal to this every time we reduce two spaces spaces minus equal to 2 python 3 pyramid 3 5 10 works let's make the alpha bet uh, palindrome pattern now let's go so as usual n is equal to int input and as usual a good observation it's very similar to our numbers, only that the ASCII value is going to be used now. So, for capital A, the ASCII value is 65. So, I'm going to copy this number here. And whatever is this, I'm going to say initial ASCII well, 64. I'm going to do initial ASCII plus. Right, and then same thing I'm going to just paste. Uh, we will also have to call chr to convert this ASCII value into and we will do the same thing as chr of initial ASCII okay. although the str is not required now because we are already getting a string from this so I am going to remove that and then let's just try it out so we have python 3 alphabets.py 3 works 1 works let me just try to 10 works 
well that was the end of part 2 video we are going to be back again with another part and we are not going to stop until we finish all of the patterns that we mentioned on the website and i'm also going to demonstrate on the swastika pattern that my friend mentioned in the last video comments and if you also have any question make sure to drop in the comment section and i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye